All right, all right, PMG family. What is up? How about we chill for a bit? 10 minutes? 10 minutes for the live to start? That means 10 minutes for us to get rocking and rolling. And this does make sense. This makes perfect sense if this plays out how I think it's going to play out. So you guys can hang with me for a bit here. And if this plays out how I think it will play out, then, then it makes perfect sense. Um, if this doesn't play out how I think this will play out, then it, it just doesn't make sense. But we'll talk about that in a bit. We have a little breakout on Bitcoin. 43K rally, okay. So first of all, resistance is right here. I'm not talking about Bitcoin right now. We're gonna start in about 10 minutes to live. Bitcoin didn't go down as many predicted. What is happening with these coins? So everything is running. Guys, make sure you guys are in a positive on a short. If you guys are in a short, set it to your entry point. I wouldn't be worried. I would not be worried about this. And I'll tell you why. It looks like we can run to that resistance. All right. Now, as much as everybody, including myself, said that the market would probably drop, I'm, I'm still saying that right now because we haven't actually hit, we haven't actually hit resistance. If you look at the past, guys, um, right here, if we're going to follow any pattern, we're going to look at right here. It actually hit your resistance at 45. Okay, and then that would be, and then you could even go look at the other ones. So looks like Bitcoin is going to hit that resistance. Now, here's the problem with Bitcoin breaking out. You're overbought in the 45 minute. You're overbought on your 30 minute. You're overbought on your 15 minute. And you're overbought on your five minute. Okay, well overbought in your RSI and your stochastic RSI on Bitcoin. You also overbought in your one hour, right? What is up? What is up? Okay, guys, make sure you guys are putting stop losses on all your trades. So I've been saying this to every single person. This market is really risky for shorts and longs. Um, personally, I think Bitcoin is going up to 42. You guys want to know what's happening with the Ethereum Classic? We haven't even started the stream yet. <coughs> I would say this next 53 minutes, that's going to be a little pump. I'm not worried about Ethereum Classic. If you look here, Ethereum Classic's pointing right down the four hour. This is probably going to curve lower. This thing could drop to about 36 to 34. But I do want to point out Ethereum is about to form a higher high. Okay, and I'll show you guys about Ethereum Classic in a bit as well, too. Jasmine is starting to bang, moving up on the daily. Okay, so guys, we will show some stuff um, today why I'm not bullish yet. I'm bullish. If you look at the title, profit, profit, profit. Okay, guys, so massive profit. So Ethereum's about to break out on the daily. Okay. Not Ethereum classic, Ethereum. So if you go into Ethereum, there's some smart money coming into Ethereum. Ethereum whales have actually been loading up on Ethereum. So it looks like if I go to my daily, my trend, if everything is overbought, this is what my prediction would be personally myself. And guys, this is non-financial advice. Again, the market is really unpredictable. 
Um, I recommend you guys put a stop loss or put to your personal entry. If you lose, you lose 0.4%, but you could get back at a higher entry. If you're longing, same thing. You can get back at a lower entry, but nothing is actually really running. If you guys look 4% on HNT, helium's about to pop, by the way. 5% on HTR, HTR is about to pop. I've been watching that one. Lina, Lina is about to run soon. Um, Zilliqa is about to run. We've been talking about that in our mentorship program. Lina is looking like a triple top. Lina has a lot of wicks. I've been watching Lina. Dormex is about to run. All right, guys, but I don't care about that. What I was going to show you was Ethereum. Okay, and I know everybody is uh, freaking out at the moment, thinking we're going to break. Okay, so here's the thing with Ethereum now. We are about to form a higher high, okay? Personally, I think Ethereum, we could very well form a higher high. We could also reject. So here's the thing, guys. If Ethereum breaks this area at 3,000, okay, runs up, back tests, runs up, forget about Bitcoin, look at Ethereum because ETH pairs are going to start running. Let me look at ETH pairs. Mm. Look at my one hour here. BTC is not necessarily running. BTC is going to push up to resistance and wick out the shorts. Okay, so a big green candle on dot Ethereum. Litecoin is looking like it could have an inverse head and shoulders here. Link is looking okay. Where's uh, Ada? Ada's not really looking too good. So the big thing, guys, is if we're going to have our alt season, we need to break this 3,000 on Ethereum. And to be honest, you're oversold on your one hour. Bitcoin dominance is going up a tiny bit. If we go back to Bitcoin, guys, we touch this resistance. I would, I would love to see this break out, but I think after we touch this resistance, we're going to drop. If we don't drop, we're going to break out. We're going to back test. And then I would say close every short, start longing because everything's going to run. I'm not bullish yet. And the third whale in Bitcoin today sold, the third largest whale in Bitcoin today sold 61 million Bitcoin, okay? So like I said in the, in the chat today, in our video, in the live, in the mentorship, guys, you're going to do one thing. You're going to go down or you're going to break out. Well, what's happening here is you're going to hit this resistance. I love Bitcoin to wick right to here. I want to wick right to here in the next 48 minutes. Okay, so everything's going to start running, guys. In 48 minutes, I want to see this wick right to here, okay? 42, 3, 4, 6. And if that happens, then we are probably going to backtest. We are either going to drop hard or we're going to break. I would not be getting too excited if I were you guys. This is overbought on every single time frame, okay? Overbought, overbought, but it is running up, okay? Overbought. You're five minutes overbought, so we'll see what happens here. At this point, you're looking at around 42,364.
Remember, guys, put stop losses in place if you're in shorts. In my personal opinion, this is to wick out the shorts, all right? This is what stop losses are for, getting a better position. Hong Kong FOMO. Dan, how you doing? Guys, I just want Bitcoin to freaking drop already or break up. Or break out. Okay, I just want Bitcoin to drop or break out. That is it. Drop or break out. Okay, let's look at Jasmine. You cannot handle this up and down, up and down. So Jasmine is still following the uptrend as of November, or sorry, March 13th. Uh, Lina, yeah, for sure, I can go over Lina, absolutely. So yeah, Jasmine is running up. The thing is, guys, Jasmine is not necessarily bullish until it breaks out of this 449. So it could be coming up to do a double top here or forming a double top, I guess. Okay. What am I going to long when it breaks out? Well, I'll tell you guys my big play. Um, so yeah, it does look like Jasmine is going for another run to four or five. Would I be longing? No. Would I be shorting right now if I haven't already got into a short position? No. I'm waiting for this. What is the heck is that? Four hour candle to be finished. Okay. We just want it to push up to here. 42, three. And it is going to happen on the four hour. We can see it. This is going to be calculated. <laughs> Now, in my opinion, we're going to drop because you're either going to drop or you're going to break out. One of them, too, is going to happen. Okay, we'll have to see what happens here. ETH is about to form your higher high. All right, guys. All right, guys, smash that like button. Just touch 45K. We'll start eyeing the alts for the next pump. Yeah, exactly. Pirate Chain going to take off. Let me look at Pirate Chain, okay? All right, let me, uh, let me look at Pirate Chain here. Pirate Chain is definitely running. Oh, Pirate Chain broke out. Pirate Chain absolutely broke out. So Pirate Chain is a privacy coin, guys, all right? Okay, so Pirate Chain is a privacy coin, and it broke out here on your weekly at around $1.21. And I would say Pirate Chain is uh, getting pretty bullish on the daily here, holding a bit of resistance around here. Um, so what I would do, if Pirate Chain breaks 203, it'll backtest and then it will go up. 
Kadena. It's actually Kadena. I kept on saying Kadena. It is Kadena. Okay. I'm just looking at uh, the pump right now, guys, and we'll see what happens with this pump, okay? So Bitcoin, has it touched yet? We obviously know this is a big candle, okay? We obviously know this is a pump. We obviously know there's going to be a retest. But we need Bitcoin to touch in the next 41 minutes, and it actually might wick past it, okay? Keep in mind, guys, you don't actually have a confirmation of a breakout until you have a breakout, a back test, and then running. But based on what I see on the one hour right now, I'd be really hard-pressed if this started running like crazy. The world Kadena in chain is Spanish. Okay, for everybody that's asking about Ethereum Classic, guys, set your stop losses at your entry point. For everybody that is asking about Ethereum Classic, okay? If you got into Ethereum Classic, look, there's one green candle. If you think this is going to hold for here, your wick up was... What was this 4086? Look at your daily resistance. All right. Just so everybody knows on what's happening with this market. Okay, you're at your daily. You're pretty much at your daily resistance around here. So Sure, Ethereum Classic could break out 100%. But you also got a big candle, a big, big candle. This is a huge candle. And you're going to notice some candles on some other stuff too, guys. You're probably going to hit this daily resistance. You might wick a bit past it. And if you're going your five minute, you're overbought. Okay, so. I, I just don't know how to tell people to stop trading with emotions in this market. If you are freaking out over a trade, you're leveraging too much. If you're freaking out over a trade, you are betting too much. You're not risking risk management 3%. It is rejecting off of that line on your lower timeframes. And it could run past it and wick, right? But at this point, At this point, um, I would expect a wick past for sure 100%. And Bitcoin also doing the same thing, right? So Bitcoin's going for that wick too. We're going to look at that here. Bitcoin's going for that wick. This is called wick hunting at its finest. And if you guys are getting trapped into wick hunting, then uh, yeah. Okay, so Binance liquidated a Bitcoin short at 42 million and wick and liquidated an Ethereum short at $130,000 buy. So look at what Bitcoin's doing now. Bitcoin is pumping like crazy. Okay? Watch this candle, guys, and watch what happens in the next 38 minutes. I would be expecting Bitcoin to pump to around 42.5, maybe at a wick at around 42.5 because this is your order block, okay? So wick to 42.5 would make a lot of sense. Anything will be a good short, but guys, keep in mind, I don't know if I recommend shorting right now, okay? If you're not already, if you didn't close your short, if you didn't set a stop loss and vice versa, longing. If you guys are not in a trade right now, I don't recommend trading. Not until we see what happens on Bitcoin. 
This is what I'm waiting for. You're going to have that wick. You're going to have a very massive pump. You're probably going to hit that order block here at around 42.5 on a wick. Okay, 42.6, because that is a massive order block. You guys can see this was a bullish to bearish reversal. But you guys also got to keep in mind, too, that um, that Bitcoin has been in a, in an uptrend. Okay, so if we take away our fib real quick. Okay, you broke out of that, so I can get rid of that. Okay, so Bitcoin has been in an uptrend. So now Bitcoin needs to decide, is it going to break out or is it going to drop? There is no more room for Bitcoin to go. Okay. What about Spell forming another bull flag? Okay. Kadena, I'll talk about Kadena. So I'll go back to Bitcoin in a bit, guys. All right. So everything is uh, definitely skyrocketing a bit. New cycle. Didn't I call pump all coin season after the full moon? Yes, I did. But I'm not. I'm not going to be bullish just yet until we break out. I don't care. We could pump past everything. Honestly, I wish I would just get wrecked on some of my short. Well, I've closed most of my shorts. Uh, where it probably stopped me out. I'll be honest. I used. I usually put my entry to where I got in and. If I win, I win. I don't, I don't. We have 35 minutes left on this candle. This will be a massive, massive candle, guys. Keep in mind, Kadena is pretty much just consolidating, all right? It has to go somewhere, man. Bitcoin has to break out. Now, there will be a back test if it breaks out. You guys got to keep in mind, there will be. Yeah, Kadena's about to break out on the weekly too. <laughs> Dan, how we doing? Gala, new cycle. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, guys, 42.6 is what I'm looking for. There's an order, bo uh, order block at 42.6. Okay. Order block, massive order block at 42.6. What if this is the bottom? If this is the bottom, I'll be happy. Okay. But if this is the bottom, I'll be confused at the same time because your accumulation period is around 34. I have a very annoying voice in my head saying this is not the bottom, all right? So we'll see what happens after this resistance. I'm going to stay on live tonight, guys. I want to know what the hell is happening, okay? By the way, I kind of called this Bitcoin pump like last 30 minutes or two hours when I seen the stream. Everything's good for a short, but you guys understand. You're taking shorts, you're taking profit, you're setting stop losses, all that stuff. Um, I want to look at coin here real quick okay so that's not running oh zillica is starting to break out zillica is starting to move i've been watching zillica okay trios is doing nothing telcoin cjdv message me on facebook i really gotta talk to you bro Super Farm is about to break out as well. Sushi Swap is about to break out. Storage is about to break out. 
Thurum is rejecting the uh Thurum actually already did break out or rejecting the breakout. Reef is about to break out. Radium's about to break out. QRDO is starting to break out. Yeah, I'm looking at the weekly because the weekly is going to set me up for the daily, right? If I'm looking at the weekly, we need this. Oh, yeah, QRDO actually broke out. PYR, we'll see what happens uh, with PYR. Let's see here. QRDO is kind of going up. I don't know. For some reason, I don't think this is the bottom. QRDO is going up, but it's rejecting here. Nothing's happening. It's going down the four hour, but literally nothing's happening. Um, let's look at Terra Luna. Luna has not been running at all during this pump. And Luna was looking like it was going to break out on the daily, but now it is kind of looking like a bit of a fake out. All right. So Terra Luna has been following this trend, but the fact that Luna is not really pumping right now is very, very interesting. Yeah, correct. Isa, uh, you've seen that algo post, right? Algo is about to break out. It's It's rejecting at your daily right now. Your MFI, your RSI is showing a double top. I don't see a double top. Let me... So here's my deal, guys. Here's my... All the coins on Luna's ecosystem are banging, yeah. Here's my deal right now with the market, okay? You're pushing up to last resistance on every freaking coin. Algo, daily resistance. Uh, Ethereum Classic, daily resistance. Okay. Uh, actually, there, daily resistance. Um, where? Another one, Luna. Okay, Luna has already been on an uptrend in consolidation, so that doesn't matter. Algorand, daily resistance, okay? Bitcoin, daily resistance. So the fact that we're hitting daily resistance and rejecting and already overbought on most timeframes is telling me we're going to stay overbought on Bitcoin for another 15 days or two weeks, or we are going to drop. Because there is no more room for Bitcoin to run to. All right, guys? Absolutely no more room. 28 minutes left. Like, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I just want to put up YouTube videos. ETH broke out. Okay. Eve just broke your, or actually no, Eve didn't break out. Hold on. Sorry, I'm getting excited here. Eve is about to break out. Eve is about to run. Probably going to touch the top here at around 30, 37. Hit that order block and reject. Maybe not. 
Maybe not. But if I'm looking at my 45 minute, you're going up on Ethereum. 30 minute, you're going up on Ethereum. 15 minute, you're overbought. So Ethereum's probably going to push up to that order block. And we'll see what happens. Drop off the face of the earth. Honestly, at this point, guys, I just want to have a drop or a pump. Just one massive drop. Actually, a massive drop would be nice. Wipe out all the whatever it needs to wipe out. Let me look at longs right now. Longs are at an all-time high. Longs actually got wrecked. Longs are almost at an all-time high. Okay, so that is a thing. Shorts got wrecked, of course. Shorting, uh, killing the shorts. No one's really longing right now. Okay, if you look, guys, no one's actually... No one's longing this market. Right. There are other stats too, but some people are starting to long. We'll see what happens. 25 minutes left, all right? If you guys want a short, go ahead. But I don't recommend trading anything right now. I'm not calling anything. I'm watching. We're going to watch on this uh, stream here. Gotten an ETC long at 39. Nice. Awesome. You seen that reversal. Good job. And if you guys gotten that ETC short at 39, you still would have made a bit of money and then longed it after if you've seen a reversal and set your take profit. I want to look at Spell. Spell was doing pretty good earlier. Okay, so if you in the mentorship program, guys, we call it Spell here, pretty much exactly right here. Drop 15%, not a bad day. I've been scalping Ethereum Classic. I know some other people have. Matic is about to break up. I don't know. It's the moment of truth, honestly. Moment of truth. I just want the market to do something, man. ETH, ETH, ETH. What is ETH doing? 24 minutes left. It has to touch that 33.9 and hit that order block. And if you guys get liquidated on your trades, a little bit of advice, just get liquidated and re-enter. Even though I'm not I'm not trading right now anything. Well, I have a trade, a couple trades open, but I'm not too worried. Okay, so right here on ETH 338, Ethereum Classics hitting 42. Look, it's trying to hit your resistance. Part of me would say short this. But I ri part of me would say short this, guys, but I really don't like the fact that you're overbought. Uh sorry, you're oversold on the one hour, okay? But the same thing with Bitcoin, you're overbought. So there Bitcoin, everything follows Bitcoin at the end of the day. H bar is about to move as well. Let me look at um, XRP blasting off large caps. XRP is running. But let's look at something. So XRP's daily resistance is right here, 106. Luna is not moving. The fact that Luna is not moving. You know? Uh, Hacko, uh, I don't think it will without a retest. 
as one massive candle. I want to see what this market does. Ten X on Ren still winning. Let me look at Ren. So Ren is oversold on the daily, which is great. I would say thirty eight is the tap out point on Ren, but. Sorry, 39.40. So yeah, Ren could hit that for sure, 39.40. You're in profit on a Luna long? I'm very bullish on longing Luna. Here's my worry about Luna. I wouldn't take profit. I would set your stop loss for a profit stop loss and make it a free trade. Luna's looking great on the daily, but my problem with, or on the one hour, my problem with Luna is you have a con, con, uh, convicting indicator that Luna is overbought and going to drop. Okay, so but it is overbought in your daily or oversold and your one hour is oversold as well too. If Luna breaks this and comes down, I take profit because then you're coming down. But right now Luna is holding that trend. Again, non-financial advice guys, please do your own due diligence. Loving the five minute time frame, made money all day and continuing on Jasmine, crypto, Greg, no problem. Guys, I don't care if all these calls work 100%. Always set your stop loss. I usually set a trailing stop loss. And uh, what I do is I'll set that stop loss basically to kick me out of the trade. If it's going up, I make no money. Or it drops further and I move my stop loss to a free trade. I'm not willing to lose. This is why I don't lose on trades. But I, I can't tell everybody to get out of a trade if, you know, the market just starts pumping out of nowhere. I will tell you one thing. We've got 90, 19 minutes left. It's looking like we're going to hit 42.6. Okay. This one big candle is a huge candle. Every Everything is, well... Same with Ethereum, guys. Ethereum's doing the same exact chart. Yeah, guys, smash that like button, PMG fam. I appreciate you guys. I promise you I will have videos on this freaking channel. The reason there's no videos is because of this BS. I don't want to say something's breaking out or dropping and then it pumps or drops. Derek, how you doing? Let's go. SAS Crypto in the house. Pirate Genetics Haji. Dot. No problem. Normally, I'd get excited over trading shorts at this point. But I'm not excited over trading shorts right now. Right, guys? I'm not excited at all. This could fly quite a bit. Okay. I would set a stop loss. Dot is breaking out. Oh, wait, is this a daily? Tezos, SHIB. Don't 
Dot is breaking out of your daily. What about your weekly though? Dot is breaking out. Okay, so polka dot is definitely breaking out. That is one big candle. That is a massive candle, guys. So you're gonna you're gonna pump, you're gonna keep pumping and wick. That is one big freaking candle, okay? Obviously, no, we know this candle isn't going to last. But if you guys see, you're trying to wick past that daily resistance. I would set your stop losses, but personally, myself, I don't see us breaking out. I, I just don't. These are too big of candles. This is like... Like ETH isn't even breaking out at this point. So 15 minutes left. Make sure you guys are smashing and tapping that like button, all right? Cardano is about to run. I'll tell you guys that much. Uh, Cardano is a bit of ways to go, but if you're looking at the... Yeah, Cardano is a bit of ways to go. So Cardano could actually run to 117. Fake out? I'm not sure. I don't know. I would expect this to be a fake out. This is definitely telling me we're going to have altcoin season soon, guys. Like, look at Ethereum Classic freaking taking off. I don't know. This is not a normal pump. I'll tell you guys right now. This and this does not match up. If Ethereum Classic is pumping as hard as it is right now, Ethereum should be rocketing right now, okay? Because then we're going to have an altcoin season on Ethereum. We're not. Market makers pump candle, then breakout traders jump. <laughs> Make sure you guys set your stop losses. I cannot say that enough. Okay, so let's see if Bitcoin is doing what Bitcoin, what I think it's going to do. Five minute Bitcoin coming down. Three minute Bitcoin almost oversold. 15 minute overbought. 30 minute overbought as well. 45 minute overbought. One hour overbought. Derek, you gotta set, you gotta start setting your stop losses. So what if you get wicked out? free trade or no trade, no money, whatever. Just get back in at a higher entry. Um, all right, now we wait.
Sorry, guys, I got to watch this. Tezos, okay. Dumb money. Oh, now this is going to freeze on me. Come on. Did my entry? Okay. Dumb money. What is trading view just frozen now? Mostly dumb money. Ooh, that is a wick. That is a wick. Everdome, I think Everdome is a good project. ETH broke 3K. Let me show you guys something on ETH. I don't care if ETH breaks. All I care is about ETH breaking this order block. Three, the hell's that? Three, eight, three, zero, three, eight. Okay, Tezos, someone asked about Tezos. I'm looking at dumb money, by the way, guys, on the one second. So Tezos realistically could hit three something. What would I buy, ADA or FTM? What about Helium? Helium is about to break out very, very soon here. Okay, so 30 bucks, but Helium's looking at a breakout very soon as well. Helium is a really, really good project for sure. FTM's not doing anything. All right, guys, moment of truth. What the heck's gonna happen with this market? We're either gonna drop or we're gonna break. By the way, this is the, uh, I don't know, uh, March 21st. Yeah, something between yesterday and today. HNT at $21. What is um, ApeCoin? What about ApeCoin?
ApeCoin broke out of the downtrend. So ApeCoin definitely broke out of the downtrend here. And is definitely running. Um, so if ApeCoin breaks 11 around there, 11.69 at this bearish order. Oh, shit. ApeCoin actually had a double bottom on the two hour and it broke it. Double bottom, double bottom. Okay. So ApeCoin could potentially go to 13 to $14. Do I recommend... Okay. Do I recommend longing this? Not really, unless you're ballsy and you want to scalp it, right? All right. What is going to happen? Okay. So Bitcoin just wicked a bit past. It did touch. It did touch your... Uh, your daily resistance, and it is looking like it is about to close below your resistance. So that's not too bad. FTM and infinitely better than ADA. ADA having trouble in thinking of increasing block size. Okay. H HNT going to renumerate and increase supply massively. All right, guys, so let's see what Bitcoin's doing. Four minutes left. Ave was uh, looking at a breakout as well here, too. So 164 and Ave and Ave is going to run. Well, it has to break out of that, but yeah, I would say around one 164 would be the top on Ave to 168. What happens after four minutes? Well, we're going to see. Okay. Whoa. What the hell? Yeah. Shorts are getting wrecked. Obviously this was a stop hunt. Longs are also getting wrecked. Dominance is staying the same. Not pumping, not dropping. And Ethereum has not broken out yet. Okay, so... Hit me. What the hell is the market going to do? If you guys want, you can short. But again, non-financial advice. This could just keep on running and break out. Again, I said it did not look like it to me with being overbought on all your time frames. If you guys are not in the mentorship, www.clubmoongold.com. We'll teach you how to trade. We're doing HODL portfolios. Go over to the Discord. Smash the like button, guys. Go over to our Discord. Hang out with the fam. we got a full community, full channels. And if you also... Uh, we're also doing a trial. A trial, 25% trial. Get access to some of the channels. Make some money in PMG. Learn some stuff, okay? I will post a form rather than telling you guys to email me because that was ridiculous. I got over 20 emails. We're only doing this for a limited time, guys. So, Oscar, yes, yes. 
fill out that form if you guys want to get access to um the pmg mentorship the trial and hopefully guys we'll have an alt season all right and then we'll contact you and get you in the discord take it to the limit I did not like these charts, guys. I said I did not like Ethereum. I did not like Ethereum Classic. And I definitely did not like the Bitcoin chart. They all looked the same to me. Because here's the thing. You guys got to understand. If we have an alt season, people are watching Ethereum. People are watching, at this point, Ethereum Classic. People are watching Bitcoin. They're not watching anything else. They're watching these two because the market makers and the people that know about cycles are watching if we break out of a higher high. Guys, I'm literally pouring freaking sweat right now. I just want something to happen. Anything, just anything, you know, like... All right, so we are closed pretty much on the top here. <laughs> Let's see what happened. ETH is not dumping. You're right. It's not. Okay, this is starting to drop, but ETH is not. Okay, Bitcoin, what are you doing? Smart money still. Smart money still, guys. This is why I said don't short, don't long, wait for the market. Had a little double top on the one minute, broke out of that. The way Waves is looking like right now, I think it could break support. Someone say shots. Uh, I did jazz me already. A lot of viewers, guys, if you are part of the stream, please smash that like button. Still can't make up its mind, right? All right. What is happening with this market? Dominance is staying the exact same. Oh, there we go. The spike. I'm not normally quiet, yes. Have I looked at spell? Spells oversold on the one hour, kind of consolidating here. Dropping a bit.
Jasmine, I already did Jasmine. This just goes to show that the moon cycle indicator is not 100%. No, I would say it's 70%. I would have more confidence in the new moon than the full moon if you look on trading view. But if you want, you can say the bottom is in, but I... BTC dominance rising again, alts froze. <clears throat> okay, so spell is uh, pretty much can go to about 0502 on the daily, in my opinion. And then kind of... And then reject from there. It is kind of going down the four hour a bit. We're going to break out. Looking like we might break out. It's looking like we might get a breakout. Or a fake out. If this just stays like this the whole <laughs> next hour, I'm going to lose my mind. So here's what will happen. BTC up 10% in a week. We go in for another bull. Okay. Let me explain what I'm seeing here, guys. Bitcoin is looking like it is going to break out. Okay. Here's what will flip. Money will pour into Bitcoin. Okay. And then after that, you'll have Ethereum run and probably Ethereum Classic. But there is one caveat for us to actually have an alt season. We need to drop below 40% and Bitcoin needs to drop to have that alt season. So. <laughs> Ethereum's looking okay, right? Uh, Bitcoin's looking like it's frozen right now. There's a lot of tension in the market right now. You guys could probably feel it just by watching the screen and go from there. <laughs> All coins next. Yes. I'm just surprised we haven't had the drop yet. Your money flow is doing nothing on the four hour though. And your RSI is starting to curve. So I don't know, guys. I got nothing. I, I honestly, I would wait to see what happens. This is a drop or a pump, realistically a drop or a pump, okay? I know OMG was starting to break out. Let me look at OMG here. Yeah, OMG might break out, guys. So watch OMG and watch Boba as well. Both of those coins, all right? They are both look, well, OMG is looking to break out on the weekly. You can see OMG probably around $12 to $15. And this isn't right away. And then Boba... I know what the hell Boba's on, but I don't know. Bo OMG's looking a lot better than Boba, I'll be honest. But usually if uh, OMG runs, Boba runs. And see that wick there, right? So. Why is... Phantom going nowhere. Where's Phantom? Phantom's rising a bit. <laughs> so Phantom is at a breakout point too. So Phantom needs to make a decision here. I think Phantom will break it and run. 
Phantom is on an uptrend right now. Can BTC pump to 46? Uh, yeah, well, we'll look at Bitcoin here, guys. So if you look at Bitcoin, it's actually just in a massive consolidation phase. So realistically, what we need to break is 40, 44, to be honest. Um, if we break that, we're good. But to be honest, we want to break this. We want to break this trend. Okay, we want to break here, move up, and then we want to back test, find where you break out on your November trend, and then it will start running. So we don't actually know if it's a breakout or fake out until we break. But as of right now, guys, this is looking possibly to be a breakout. All right. The thing is, we touched and Bitcoin slowly going up now. Okay, so if you're overbought on your RSI on the one hour, I would be very wary because you're about to be overbought. And uh, Bitcoin is looking, looking bullish, but you're overbought. Okay, you guys got to keep that in mind. Bitcoin's looking very, very bullish, but you're overbought. So that bullish momentum, you're overbought. You're overbought in the one hour. You need a retest. Right. All right, PMG family, I appreciate the support, guys. Smash that like button, fam. We'll see what happens with the market. I am pretty much done for tonight. Join the Discord. The link is in the description. Oh, loop ring. Okay. Loop ring. Yeah, Mike, you did say you wanted loop ring. Sorry, I'm focusing more on Bitcoin. Um, <laughs> so loop rings daily resistance is around 85. And if you look in the weekly here, loop ring is probably going for a breakout. It's about to, about to break out. So loop ring is looking good for sure. Um, I would give it another week, maybe half a week. Make sure we close green another week. We break out here, we're around 88. So I would say 88 <laughs> is your resistance on loop ring. And if you break out of that, we're going to run, all right? Burger swap, Lina. Okay. I'll do Lina as the last one, guys. And then I'm pretty much done for tonight. I got to watch the market and look at some stuff on my own. And then, uh, then we'll go from there, okay? So line is about to break out on your daily. Line is about to break out on your weekly. Line is about to run. I've been watching Lina. I don't even know if Lina is on perpetual, but it is about to run. And there has been a lot of whale activity on Lina. Personally, I think Lina is going to break out right away. But again, guys, caveat, you're overbought on your daily. Same thing with Bitcoin. You're overbought on your daily, so we can stay, we can break out and stay overbought for 15 days, or we're going to drop, okay? The daily's touching your 80 on your stochastic RSI. The daily's almost touching your 80 on Lina, and you're at the breakup point. It is really a game of chess at this point. Yeah, this is a massive pump, for sure. <laughs> I agree, massive, massive pump, okay? Okay, fam, I appreciate you guys. Smash the like button. 
There's some loop ring. There's some Lina. If you're new to the PMG fam, www.clubmoongold.com is our mentorship. And the trial is in the chat as well, too. Okay, guys, and I'll be posting a lot of videos. Join our Discord community. Link in the description below, okay? No problem, no problem. I'm just waiting for something to happen. It looks like we might get a breakout. Looks like it's about to happen, guys. You're going to retest. And then boom, right? But don't watch this yet because if this bangs, this is going to start running. Then after this calms down, dropping, dominance will drop. Then you'll notice Ethereum's taken off and vice versa, okay? Am I going to chart on Discord? Yes, probably, maybe. I got a couple things to do, but maybe. We'll see. We will see. I, I got to see what happens, guys, for me to give any predictions here. It's looking like we're breaking out. I'll be honest. So here's what I would what I would say on Bitcoin. You're going to break out. You know, back test. That is going to be the drop on the one hour. Hold this support. Bang. To the moon. Don't hold this support. Fake out. Okay? So you pump. You back test. Hold. You run or you drop if it's a fake out. Okay, guys? All right, PMG fam, appreciate you guys. Have a great day, guys. Let's uh, let's run it up, okay? Um, it's looking good. It is definitely looking good on Bitcoin, guys, at this moment in time, okay? Appreciate you, fam. Crypto 2A, let's go. Okay, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow, 10 p.m., 10, 10, tomorrow night. And uh, the Discord trial's in there if you guys want to join the mentorship. Altcoin season is looking fire. Things are starting to run a bit, but they're mostly stagnant. And that's what happens when Bitcoin breaks out and altcoin season runs. So we'll see.